What is up Outdoor Mavericks? Welcome or welcome back to the channel and welcome to East Oregon where today we're going to be doing a little bass fishing on the east side of Oregon and with all the rain that we've had on the west side it has been some tough fishing but it's warming up on the east side which means that the bass fishing is getting hot. You guys know I'm getting more into bass fishing. So I hooked up the trailer, got the boat all set up and I told Richie, me be in my house, we're going to head out east and we're going to do some bass fishing and today we got an awesome fishing challenge for you guys. So today we're going to be actually fishing under underneath the railroad bridge to see who can catch the biggest fish and the most fish. And the punishment for today's bass fishing challenge is not going to be fun because you're either going to have to put your underwear on the outside of your pants or if you lose both of these, you're going to have to put them on top of your head and fish for 10 minutes. So I'm hopeful that the train goes by, brings me some good luck, and we get on a ton of smallmouth bass things. So let's get some lines wet and get on with this bass fishing challenge. So from the dock, we put down the trolling motor, headed out to underneath the bridge where the bass should be plentiful and should be biting easily. Now, the technique and style of baits that I was using today, I was going to start out with the wacky rig. And as you guys can see here, I have a ton of different Guggen bait lunker logs going through the different colors that I have. And I find the right one. And I'm going today to start out with my baits with the California craw. Now, the John Day River has a ton of crawdads in it. So the California craw is one of the best colors to use. Get that out of the package. Give it a little sniff. Get it on that wacky rig setup. And I'm just waiting to go, waiting for Rachie to get all of his stuff tied up. And again, I'm ready to go for this challenge. He's little bit lagging behind don't know what's going on there on the back he's just playing around monking around doesn't have his stuff tied up but get ourselves ready to go and i'm all set up to go right here against the rocks get my pole down and i'm just hanging out waiting to start this challenge and of course got to get the stinky lucky gloves on to make sure that i win this challenge because i do not want to have to put underwear on my head when i lose this challenge so we're ready in three two one and we start the challenge I get my wacky rig picked up get a little bit loose of a drag make sure everything's good put the troll motor on spot lock make cast number one against the rocks see if we can get a nice good john day smallmouth here on this challenge so doing a little jigging doing a little bouncing up off the bottom you know it's we're sitting at about 20 something feet of water so it's pretty deep here against the rocks figuring there's got to be a small mouth hanging around and nope nothing for the first cute cast so we're going to move on the trolling motor and of course the trolling motor decides to be really drunk today and i put my foot down on the pedal and it's just going nuts and somehow we backed into the rocks something happened with the connection and all of a sudden boom gonna hit the rocks here in the back with the trolling motor and absolutely freak out moment as you guys can see here i'm we are literally against the rocks the motor is still going absolutely nightmare i chipped the trolling motor and i chipped the prop in the back absolutely insane amateur hour out here with the trolling motor again it just started to just do its own thing don't know what the hell just happened but it was just moving on its own going the wrong way and of course just slammed right into the rocks just stupid trolling motor you know it's such an amateur move you know it's just completely idiotic <laughs> Hold it, stop, 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 stop. Oh. Well, your back, your back propeller officially has a little ding. Then for the next hour and a half of fishing, we fish underneath the bridge, fishing crankbaits, spinner baits, worms, swim baits, wacky rig, nothing was working. We were fishing both sides of the bridges. We're just tossing everywhere, you know, picking apart because we had plenty of time to fish this and just no bites. It was super deep. It had a little bit of extra flow. So we decided to move a little bit away from the bridge, a little bit off the bank, try to find some other areas where these bass might be hanging out. And again, we had to move around. The bridge just absolutely wasn't the spot that it was gonna be. Have to make a few adjustments on the challenge, but you know what we're still going to get after it and hopefully we still don't have to wear those stinky underwear on our head when we win this challenge so trolling up a little ways from the bridge i decided to get the wacky rig out once again pitch it out towards the bank here with some wooden rock structure give it a jangle first cast nothing reel it in figured i'm going to get it right into the perfect spot see where i can just pinpoint accurate put it right in front of some logs get that wacky rig to settle down give it a little jig and see if we can't get our first bass of the trip again to this point we had zero bites we were really just grinding it out hoping that we can find something it just wasn't working out and then get here into the second cast give it a little jig and then all of a sudden my line starts to just move away from the bank and i'm like what in the world and so my line starts moving way to the right and i'm like i don't feel any tick i don't feel any bump or anything like 
that's got to be a fish, right? So, of course, you know, hook sets are free. So I give it a little bit more jig. I'm still jigging, trying to figure out, wait, is that a fish? And so it moves way out. And of course, yep, there's the hook set. And I got a fish on. And of course, I don't know what it is. Haven't seen it yet. And then sure enough, and so I'm fighting this fish. Haven't seen it yet. And that, yep, there we go. I see some gold. And then it's definitely a small mouth. Start fighting the fish. Of course, my drag is really, really loose. And I'm just playing around with this fish, trying to figure out what's going on with my reel. I've got all kinds of issues going on. Getting the reel drag a little bit more tight so we can get this fish into the net get this fish into the boat and it's pulling hard hopefully we can get this thing in because it is fighting like crazy it's a good size one too he's got to have a gold the worm by now Tighten that drag, homie. Dude, I, yeah, apparently, it's a good sized fish. He jumped once. Oh, yeah, here we go. Get him back up to the surface if he can come up. Hey, good first back fish down. of the day. Hang on. This is a good, this is a good one, too. Oh, I can't even, like, boat flip him. Hang on. Oh, he's spitting up crawls and worms. Come here. Here, we'll just... We'll just, here, we'll poke flip it. You gotta do it fast, dude. Woo! I don't gotta do it fast, I gotta do it at my pace. No. <laughs> there it is, you guys. Yeah, yeah. First John Day First John Day, mouth. baby. Woo! First John Day smallmouth. That's a good size one, about a pound and a halfer. Yeah, just go nice and slow. Just go nice and slow. Can you get up? Yeah, go close. Nice and just beautiful, gorgeous smallie. Just bit on the, uh, the weighted racky rig hook, just, you know, that uh, craw color, look at that. Just a beautiful fish. Nice. Nice. Guess what, that's one me. Zero me. Zero me. Buried, look at that. Absolutely gorgeous fish, look at that. <laughs> Woo! Give me a pound, you guys, yes! <laughs> Signing off. Awesome. And there you go, taking a look at my first ever John Day River smallmouth. Gonna let this Billy go back in the water and get off on his way. Go back down there, Sally. Whee! Then for the next 90 minutes of fishing, we stuck along the bank here, fishing against wacky rigs again, fishing some spinner baits, fishing some crank baits, fishing just some swim baits. Well, we were trying just about everything. Between Richie and I, I think we probably tried 20 different bait colors, five, six different techniques, just trying to figure out what these bass were liking, where they were held up, because of course they weren't against the bridge, but we weren't about to give up because we had plenty of daylight, plenty of action still to come, and hopefully we got on a couple more fish for this challenge. So then we went back to the bridge, trying to think and figure out where they could be stacked, if they're near the bottom, if they're liking the flowing water, if they're at the front, the back, maybe the side of the bridge pilings, but just kept trying around, kept going up and down the river, trying to find spots where we can find some more bass. Richie had a few hooks sets we missed a few we got snagged on a couple different rocks with our gear just going up and down the bank we were just searching and trying to find where these smallmouth were living the bridge just wasn't it we kept going up and down the bank we went back to the bridge a couple more times tried a few different pilings no success just trying to throw different baits different stuff just literally throwing the gauntlet of what we had in the tackle box trying to figure out what the heck these bass want and after about another hour of fishing we just decided it needed to come to an end well, I gotta say, this is one of the most difficult bass fishing challenges that I've done. And yeah, we didn't catch any bass underneath the bridge. We fished by the bridge. There's a ton of water, a ton of flow. The bass just weren't there. We were moving around. And you know, sometimes when you do the challenge, you never know what you're gonna get. You might get a ton of fish. You might get only a few fish. You may only take one fish. And you know what? That's all it took for me to win this challenge today. And guess what? This guy, He's got to wear underwear on his head and go fish with that for another 10 minutes. So I'm lucky because I don't gotta wear that underwear. This segment is sponsored by Me Undies. <laughs> Love it. So I'm gonna make him fish. I'm gonna make Richie fish with the undies for a little bit, but you know, we've got one good bite, one solid fish, and that's all it takes on this challenge. And because he also lost both biggest and most, we are gonna take a picture and he is gonna go up on Instagram and on the community tab. So you guys can laugh at him with his underwear in his head. <laughs> he definitely rocks those good. But thank you guys for watching today's Bass Fishing Challenge. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button down below for more outdoor content. And as always, you guys, the outdoors is a gift. Share it with others.